So without further ado, let's bring Tim Miller. Are you there? Hey man, let's 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 get it hot and popping. But I'm sitting here with one left tear on my left eye, one tear on my right eye, because we are crushing it. And it's no secret. First of all, y'all heard from Desiree. That's my best friend. We're going to get it done. We're going to do it together. We're going to build this thing big. Because we get it. We got the vision. And it is what it is. But guys, when I tell you what they just announced yesterday, we are now paying on product orders. Insane. And you're in this game, and now we're paying on product orders. Everybody's first product order is going to the compensation plan. Guys, listen to me. They're putting 10% more money in this day, and we already rolled. We got to go to work. We got to go to work right now. Now, I'm about to bring up somebody. And I've watched her. I don't say much. I just I just sit back and watch the organization. What's going on? What's happening? I was going to retire yesterday and say, I'm getting out of this. I'm making enough money. I'm behind the money. I'm just going to get out the game. Then I started watching. I'm saying, hold on a minute. This company's doing what? They put 10% back in the compensation plan. They said, hold on a minute. We're going to pay on product orders, on initial orders. And we're going to put 5% on the back end. When you hit a certain rank, which is called diamond, we're going to put all this money in this compensation plan that paid you guys out. Guys, this is, I don't, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to call it. I don't know how to play it. This is the real deal. This can change your life, your family's life. Your, this is the real deal. All you have to do is go out and get two people, help them get two, and keep doing that to die. There's no confusion. There's no confusion. There's no hype. There's no just show the plan, show the plan. Take the free tour. Take the free tour. But I watched a young lady. She said, Tim, I'm listening to you. Let me do this. Let me dig into this downline and just help people. It's called Top Root. Her organization has just exploded overnight because she got it. I said, listen. It's not about signing up 100 people. This company is not about being the best. Listen, just dig in there, dig deep, and you're going to win. Let me bring it to the stage. Tony, are you on here with me? Yes, Tim, I'm here. I can hear you. How you doing? Thank you for having me. Tony. Yes, Tell sir. Tell the truth. Give it to them real. Whoa, don't hold back. But what has happened to your organization when you listen to me and said, tap root this thing, just go down there, just go find your winners and what can happen and how it can change people's life. Tony, turn it over to you. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. How you doing, guys? Um, I'm Coach Tony Freeney here out of Louisiana, and I'm very excited to be before you all on today. I just thank uh, Tim Miller, Crown Diamond, first Crown Diamond, Tim Miller, for inviting me. It's a privilege, a privilege to be on the call right now. 
Um, and as Desiree said, I am not going to be before you all long because I, I am going to respect your time. I know it's Saturday and everybody have things to do. But um, we're just going to talk a little bit, like Tim said, about tap rooting, something that I do in my organization um, and help, you know, to identify leaders. So if you guys would tell me in the comments, what do you think tap rooting is? What is your definition of tap rooting? Um, if you have any experience with tap rooting or anything like that. And while you guys do that, I'm going to just read the definition on Google, when I put in tap rooting definition, it says a tap root is a large central root that grows downward from the base of a plant. So if you are the base of the plant, right, then you will, um, then you are the root in which, you know, that you will be tapping down from. So it is usually thick, right, and strong. So um, if you are if you guys can mute, everybody can mute. Hold on a second. Let me uh, do this. Okay. All right. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Give me a one in the comments if you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me. So yes, we have some uh, definitions here in the uh, comments. And we have somebody, Vanessa Baxter said, going deep to find life. That sounds really good. Um, uh, what is that? Cheyenne says, uh, finding the people that were brought into your organization that want to plug in. Yes, that's good. Um, yes, let's see. Anyone else have any comments on what you think uh, tap rooting is? Going deep to find light. And yes, exactly. I like that too. That's a good one. Okay. Well, yes, that's definitely kind of what it is. So tap rooting is like kind of like leapfrogging. So, you know, that game leapfrog uh, where you kind of like jump over one person to get to the next person. So basically it's where you as a leader will reach down into your downline and connect with those that are in your organization. Right. So firstly, it starts off with you connecting with the person that, yes, go, yes, Scott, going deep to find your winners. So it starts out with your first person that it starts out with the person you enroll, your direct person, right? It starts out with them. And how is that is by uh, one way that you can do this is every person that you bring into your organization. Hey, come here. Okay. Everyone that you uh, find into your organization, you want to, uh, let's see, you want to, um, have like a welcome call with them, right? You want to have a call with them and you can have that with your upline, right? Someone that you trust and that you can plug them into um, the organization with, right? So I, I'm trying, Mickey, <laughs> but I'm, uh, I am I did that, but it's, uh, it's a little difficult here because I don't have anyone helping. Miss Kelly, can you help me with the... Uh, um, I am yes, Tony. I am behind the scenes, watching, wa Tony, watching and working. <laughs> I'm watching and working. Yes, I am. Okay, guys. So anyway, um, so that's what the that's where you, it starts off at, right? It's basically starting with the person that you enrolled, and that's you know um, something that Tim always talk about. You can see in your, um, you can see in your back office who has enrolled with you if they haven't introduced themselves to you, right? Because we know people can just click onto your link and with our phenomenal marketing system, people are able to um, just sign up with you, right? So you may not know them. So if you see you have a new person, you can reach out to them via email. You can get their name and go put it on Facebook and try to find them. Um, you know, you can call them, you can text them. So there's different ways that you can reach out to your direct person. And once you reach out to that direct person, and you start get a report with them, right? And you're going to qualify that person, right? So you're going to talk to that person. You're going to find out, are they here to save money only? Or are they here to save money and to make money? Because we know people sign up as an affiliate because of the ease of entry. Like Ms. Desiree always says, um, it's only, it's less than $50. So anybody, you know, with common sense is going to go ahead and get the affiliate ship, right? because they can literally be there and make money without doing anything. So 
um, you want to find out what type of affiliate you have, right? You want to speak to this person and see, okay, hey, that's your first form of tap root that's tapping into your direct person and finding out what their goals are, right? So you can see what their goals are. And at that point, you can go ahead and mentor that person into bronze, right? You can help that person and let them know that, hey, just by bringing two people into this organization, you can open up your matrix from being on a 12th level down to the 13th level. Now, how would that help someone? If they happen to have someone to fall up under them, right, in the organization from you or your other people that you're, you know, that's working the business, and they happen to get someone to give them a lot of spillover, right, which has happened in my organization and personally with one of my friends who was my first person to enroll with me. So once she started having people that was on her 13th level, you know, I just told her like, hey, you need to bring in two people because at that point you'll start getting the 13th level of your spillover, right? So um, that it starts out with it. And then if that person says, hey, yes, I do want to make money as well, right? So at that point you will qualify that person and then you will start to tap root into their organization, right? The first thing or to their friends and family and businesses and, and social uh, people, right? So how you would do that is different ways. One way that I like to do it with my team is called launches, right? So you have a launch and a launch is just simply, you know, you can have a Zoom, you can have a personal, you know, an in-person meeting, um, but you'll have this person to look at their family, their friends, their businesses and their organizations and um, to invite those people, right? Invite those people to a specialized Zoom or call or, or um, presentation for this person. And at that point, you will, as a leader, you know, you'll ed elevate this person and you will help them to understand that this person is in business for themselves, but not by themselves and you are going to be there as a leader to help them, right? And it helps you to be able to, as a leader, to identify some people that they may not be able to identify as leaders, right? So that, that will help them to introduce Live Good to, you know, to uh, their family and friends and, and everybody. And you will be able to, you know, meet these people as well. Once somebody actually brings in a person, and they are an affiliate that want to work, you want to do the same thing with their downline, right? You want to get on a three-way call with them and you want to qualify that person. You want to see where their intentions are, right? What is their intentions with Live Good? Is it to save or to make money? And then you tap root into that person as well, right? So um, we know some people come into the organization and they're what we call ignorance on fire, right? So they're just doing what they're doing. And the person that enrolled them, they may just be a spillover waiter. They may not be a person that's actually working the business. But if you go into your back office, you know, which you should be doing often, and you can look and you can be able to see who's actually in your downline that is ranking up. Because if you go under team, you'll be able to see under there if they became a bronze by bringing in two people, you know, if they became a silver or whatever, and you can be able to see that and you can get their contact information to contact them, right? And show them some support and help them to follow the GPS as the Crown Diamond always tell us, right? They already in. So now you have to give them the P, the plug in, right? Plug them in to things like this, to these calls, to the corporate calls, to the calls with Jesse and Kelly um, during the week, you know, the uh, ladies night calls. I mean, we have calls every day, not or Kazan, he does calls, right? So just being able to help them to plug in and that's gonna actually help people to stay in because we already know that if they are not plugged in, if they're not buying products, if they don't understand the concept and the business model of Live Good, then they're probably gonna start looking for shiny objects other places and listening to people coming into their inbox telling them different things, right? So why is this important to tap root, right? Because when you help your team, you definitely want to help you help yourself. It's going to help you to build a rapport with your downline. And just in case something happens with, you know, your with your direct person, 
because we know life be life in and people have things that they have going on. We just have the holidays and all that type of thing. But it will help your downline to know that they have you, right? They should have your phone number. They should have your information. They should be able to reach out to you at any time so that they don't go astray, right? So that's uh, some of the reasons why that we need to do that. And with Live Good, guys, it's very important to do that. Why? Because you literally only need, you know, three legs to get to platinum, right? Um, and, you know, that's really kind of like a sweet spot. So if you have three working legs, so if you, for example, you know, somebody bring, you bring in someone directly and then they bring in their cousin and then their cousin is not really working the business, but they love the products and they tell their gym instructor and their gym instructor say, oh, wow, you know, these products are amazing. And they start building, building, building. Then just because you didn't bring that person in directly, you still can use the volume for that person. You still can use the rank for that person in order to help yourself grow and rank up and live good. So live good is very unique uh, from other companies that I've been in because, you know, you can lose people when they go down the rank and you, you know, and you, you can't use their volume or you can't use their rank, but Ben has made it very accessible for us. And so that's a great thing um, when you, um, when you're able to do that. So it's definitely a good thing to reach down into your organization and identify leaders, um, identify people that just have a passion. You know, leaders are made every day. So the word leader get thrown around and a lot of people, you know, uh, think you have to be established to be a leader and this and that, but you have to build up. Everybody starts from somewhere. I saw that Tim posted his uh, something from when his, like his first check of, you know, getting residuals and it was low. Everybody starts at the same place. So in order to make those residuals grow, we have to develop people, right? And if the person you brought in is not developing, then you want to do that um, as the upline, right? So as a, as an upline, when you're tap rooting, just always make sure that you hold integrity, right? Make sure that you, you know, don't try to lead people astray and try to get them into or other organizations, you know, keep live good with live good guys, you know, because as our CEO said on the call yesterday, everyone needs live good. It doesn't matter how many side hustles they have. It doesn't matter how many businesses or how great their job is or anything like that for the supplements, for these prices. I mean, he said it yesterday. We have the uh, essential oils that will be on the, on the uh, website on Monday because the truck didn't come. They would have been there already. We have the new pre-workout E3 Energy that just hit the website. And as the uh, Crown Diamond said, we're now able to get 10% on our first order of a member, whereas before, our members and affiliates, we didn't get anything when they ordered. So the very first order, it doesn't matter if they just started or if they've been with you the whole time and never ordered. Once they make that first order, you know, and it, it's not residual, it is only the first order. So once they make that first order, you will get that commission, right? So that is more commission that he's added on to the compensation plan. And he acknowledged other, you know, companies out there that is, you know, trying to mimic us and things like that and trying to put more money on the table. But like he said, the main focus of Live Good is to help people get healthy. So that's another way to tap root is to see, you know, make sure that other people, the people in your downline is on the products, right? Making sure that they understand and getting the education about the products, sharing the information with your team, right? So that's a good way. Um, you should be checking your back office daily and making, you know, seeing if anybody has come into the organization that is actually um, working, right? So, I mean, it's really simple. And then the other part of tap rooting, like I said, is you taking control because it is your, it's your organization, right? And you don't really need permission from the person that you brought in to tap root, right? You do want to be courteous to that person to say, hey, I noticed Susie is down in your downline and she's really rocking it. You know, have you spoken with her and, you know, made a, a plan with her? And they're probably going to say no because they've been walking their, you know, their, their pet 
uh, pet snake or, you know, petting their pet rock or pushing their rope or whatever they're doing. And you just let them know like, hey, I noticed this person. I'm going to go ahead and approach them and, you know, talk to them about the organization and see what their plans on are. So, you know, uh, if you want to participate in that, fine. If not, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So I just want to let you know. And when you go to that person, just let them know like, hey, I talked to Susie and she's a little busy, but I'm going to help you out on some things. So what is some things, <laughs> what is some things that um, we can do, right, every, every month to like kind of re-trigger our mind, right? We want to console our disappointments. And what does that mean? Like some people say, don't talk about disappointments, this and that. No, I mean, just like me, for an example, I wanted to become platinum last month. Every month, that's my goal is to be, go to the next level of platinum. I didn't make it, right? I'm still double gold, not platinum, but I consoled myself. And what you want to do is get you accountability partner, an, an accountability partner, if your upline is not your accountability partner, find you an account accountability partner where you can console your disappointments. Talk about, you know, how you may have not did things that, you know, that you should have done, or maybe you did do things that you shouldn't have done. So either way, you know, go ahead and deal with that, right? You have the right to, to be disappointed. You have the right to console your disappointments, but then you got to get over that and you're going to celebrate your wins, right? Even if it was just bringing in a few people onto your organization, even if it was just, you know, tap rooting down, like, for an example, my, my team, Ricky Luna, um, my Filipino team, they're doing very, very well. And, you know, I wanted to celebrate with them. So I had some drawings. I've seen other people on the call who uh, has done different drawings outside of Ben's drawing, right? So Ben, he did a very big promotion. So we kind of like piggyback off of that promotion to get people really fired up about doing their business, right? And so we celebrated their wins. We had the duck race. We had a lot of fun um, and just set up some personal goals, right? I, I speak with my downline and ask them, you know, what is your personal goals that you want to set for this month, right? So if your goal is for to become a goal, right? then you want to go ahead and, you know, set up your calendar, set up your, uh, you know, your presentations, your Zooms, you know, all the things that you need to do in order to get there, right? You want to set up your goals. And not only do you want to set up the goals for your team, you want to set up the goals personally as well. And like I said, talking to that, um, to your accountability partner and letting them hold you accountable guys, right? So if I'm your accountability partner and you tell me that you want to go to silver and then, you know, I see you over there petting your pet rock and I say, hey, you know, we need to do this. Why don't you go ahead and make a video? You know, you got your box. Uh, why don't you go ahead and, you know, you don't have to show your face, just, just go ahead and make a video. But then, you know, when I come back and talk to you about it, you kind of snap at me because you really don't want to do it. You know, you guys have, we have to be accountable and let people help us if we want to really get there. But that's the thing I love about Live Good because it's not a pressure. It's not, it's not something that we have to like pressure people. If we see that they're busy, then we just leave them alone. As long as they're paying that $9 on membership. And uh, so, I mean, it's just an amazing situation that we have here. Um, so again, you want to force your calendar, you want to set up some events, you can go to pop ups, you can do, you know, if you're not good with internet, but the internet is billions of people on the internet. So again, as I said before, I mean, it's all kind of free training, just basic training where you can go onto YouTube University, you can learn how to post, you can learn how to make videos, you can ask for help. There's a lot of people that will help you, you know, so you have to do that. And again, like we said, tap root and doing those, um, doing those three-way calls, you know, in, um, introducing your people to your upline and, and hopefully you can trust your upline in order to do that, right? You know who you can trust, you know, who's been around, who's not posting every single deal that comes out every other day, right? So if you see somebody been solid for a year and live good and they've been, you know, posting and doing everything and growing, then, you know, hey, that might be somebody that can help you, right? That you can help to reach out. And that's the thing about Live Good as well. Even though we're all not on the, on the same, same team, you know, we have ladies night. I have people up that is not 
on my team directly at all, you know, just uplifting everybody. It's like Kelly, you know, she does promotions for everybody that's not even on her team, you know, just generously giving out and everything like that. So guys, that is basically what Taproom is. You know, if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments, but um, it's just reaching down into your organization, finding leaders, cultivating those leaders, helping those leaders to uh, tap into their um, into their uh, resources, right? Whatever, you know, helping them to identify. Um, is there a YouTube channel uh, to watch recorded Zooms and presentations? Yes, we have Live Good is the YouTube channel, the official channel for Live Good. It's called Live Good and it has Lisa and Ryan on there. They go live every Monday on, on products, that's something that can help you. So that way, if you see someone in your organization and you see them on the post complaining about headaches, you can get in their inbox and say, hey, I see you on your post talking about headaches. Did you know that you have magnesium in your back office that you can you know, order for eight bucks and take care, you know, help out with those headaches? You see somebody complaining about having, you know, aches and pains or arthritis and this and that on a post, you know, you, so when you're, you can tap root by watching their social media, you know, become friends with them, watch and see what they're doing on their social media, because sometimes people don't look in their back office. They don't even know what they have back there. They may have gotten in with a sponsor that just talked to them about the business, didn't even talk to them about the products, but there's the, yes, that's the YouTube channel right there. And all the recordings now, yesterday, the uh, the live Zoom was cut off somehow because I was on the Zoom. I mean, I'm sorry, the YouTube was cut off. I was on the live Zoom and I was recording it from my other phone as I usually try to do when I'm on the call. And thank goodness I was because actually it got cut off. And I think that they started recording right at that point. And uh, Ryan said that he was going to upload it. So I don't know if it got uploaded yet. But the end of the call is on my page and I did, um, it, it, there's a video there where he was, you know, continuing on with it and also where the drawing was at. So that it is available. Um, like I said, it is on my page for sure, but it's on YouTube now. Thank you, Howie. So Howie says that it is on YouTube now, guys. So you can click on to the YouTube channel and you are able to get uh, the rest of the call because they did push record so that they was able to upload that, okay? So I don't know what happened with that. But um, yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, the best thing to do is, like I said, the welcome calls and things like that, checking your back office. Um, and, you know, you get check match here, guys. You get check match. So even if your person has not, um, has not ranked up, you still have other people that's ranking up and that you match, right? So you want to help those people to rank up. You want to help people, I mean, it's to infinity because when you become a diamond, which I'm hopefully everybody on this call, that is your goal is to become a diamond, then you will be getting paid on all those people. So you definitely want to help as much as you can, right, Desiree? Yes. So with that being said, guys, um, I don't want to, you know, hold you guys on the call too long. Um, I'm trying to see what else is it that I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, you want to tap in your downlines circle of influence. We have some people in, in the downlines and they have, uh, many, many, you know, many influences, right? They may have a big influence on YouTube or on their, um, on their, you know, TikTok or whatever. Talk to them about the influencer bonus, help them to identify a product that is going to actually, you know, that they can actually promote something that they actually love. I'm sitting here drinking a coffee right now and I love the coffee. I have all the products here around me because I take them all the time. Yeah, you definitely want to take the super reds and the super greens and the uh, collagen. I mean, those three together are very, very good. You can, you know, you have people that, are, that love collagen, right? And just sharing the information. Um, with them and with their with their downline guys so uh that's basically how i'm doing it i have there i have stepped into yes the coffee is great i have down i have tap rooted into um my organization one of my uh 
one of my members, she brought on my Burundi team, right? And she likes to do a lot of different businesses and that's fine because that's what Live Good is about. So she likes to do a lot of different businesses, but I identify her leaders and now I have a relationship with them. I have a rapport with them. They know that they can come to me, um, you know, for anything that they need. And What's I try to help as much as possible. Like right. Kitty so, um, to the top. Okay. All right. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Tim Miller. Um, thank you guys for your time. Okay. We're going to um, probably just close it out. Um, oh. Okay. All right, guys. Well, listen, go ahead and go look at, listen to that call that we had yesterday with Ben. It was very good. The essential oils will be on on Monday, guys. And just on that alone, people are in love with uh, with essential oils. So it's like a t over 20 something dollars savings on that. Right. Thank you, Tammy. So you guys want to go ahead and promote that because, listen, they're out here selling these essential oils for a very high price. And that's a great way to get your membership. Let's lead with the membership. Let's lead with the um, with the with the products, right? Because if we say, "Hey, you can get essential oils for forty nine dollars," you can get a frankincense, which I have frankincense right here, guys. I love frankincense. Okay, and as you can see, where it's from, right? And I still have a little bit in here because I didn't want to use it up because it costs so much money. But now I'm so excited because I'm going to buy two of those kits. I'm going to give one to my neighbor. And that alone is worth the membership, right? You're going to pay $9 to save 20 something dollars on your essential oils. Then that's a no brainer, right? So we definitely want to use things like that uh, to be able to promote. And remember, we're going to get that 10% guys on that first order. So that should encourage you all to help your people, right? Help tap root into your people and tell them, hey, go ahead and get that kit. Go ahead and get those, you know, get that essential oils because everyone can use essential oils. What Ben said on the call yesterday, his son was sick. He didn't even know his wife had all these uh, <laughs> essential oils from doTERRA. And what did she do? She went in there and got these essential oils and she started, she wasn't thinking about, a you know, um, a competitor or this and that. She wasn't worried about how much she paid for him. She was just worried about getting her son healed. And he was surprised. He was like, wow. And he said that they went out and spent money on the uh, doTERRA so that they could test it. Guys, we have the highest quality products. I mean, listen, we have to help people get healthy. We have to help people to understand that they're not going to find these products anywhere else, right? So all we have to do is be a product of the product, reach down in your organization, help people to identify what products they need to be on, right? And once they identify what products they need to be on, which is all of them, then it's going to be easy for them to share, right? Do the launch calls. Guys, if you are scared to do the launch calls, you don't have to, you don't have to be scared. You can reach out to somebody else. You got Kelly that's always here. You know, Jesse is here. I'm here. Tim, Desiree, all these people, these leaders that's in the company will help you. Uh, or you could just do a three-way call. And that's what you want to do. You want to launch these people that say they want to make money, right? If they say they want to make money, help them, show them, plug them into the chats, plug them into the groups. Plug them into your, your own uh, training or whatever you have, right? But at the end of the day, plug them in. They got in. They want to stay in. You need to plug them in, okay? So Tony. that's it, period. Tony? Okay, guys? Yes. So, Tony? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Um, yes, I think um, I'm going to, uh, what's the name? wanted to bring up a few um, words, say a few words, uh, Kelly, but I want to say before uh, Kelly comes up, I just want to say you did a phenomenal job. Thank you so much, Tony, for coming on. And um, everybody put some hand clap fire signs in, drop that in the chat and let her know. This is what I'm talking about. We have some great um, potential uh, people that have great experiences from different companies that have come in to live good. We really have an array of a lot of people um, that are bringing in, um, you know, their their experiences, and I really appreciate Live Good for that. So it's not it doesn't just stop at one person. So if you got some great things that you know want to uh, bring to the table and talk about and bring to the team, like she said, it's time to tap root and love on everybody because we need all boots on the ground. 
because this is a new year. It is time to reset, go forward, no more complaining, stay focused on the focus, and let's make it happen, guys. Uh, the sky is the limit, and you're the person who bought you this business. They cannot impede your success. We are here to help you. So don't shoot the messenger. If you're if that person's not here, they're not working the business, don't complain about them. Get, just get the information from Tony, from uh, Kelly, and from anybody out here that's willing to help. I know I'm willing to help. Um, I like to, again, I'm the person that like to stay behind the scenes, but I really, I love, I'm very passionate about Live Good and what Live Good is really doing for so many people. And again, let's stick to what the mission is. Get healthy, stay healthy, and definitely not spend a fortune doing it. Those days are over.